Hello guys and welcome back, this time, I will show you how to do some camera movements, and apply those animations in your design, you also need to understand the idea behind each one of them, which can help you add deeper visual interest to your viewer, so enjoy. With those two types, you basically zoom in or zoom out from an object to add some interest or dramatics void around it. In the zoom type camera, what you can do is, keyframing the focal length in the camera settings, press I over the focal length value to add the first keyframe, jump to the last frame and hit I again to add a second keyframe. You can also select those two keys and with the right mouse button, hit easies to smooth them. In the dolly camera, the process is quite simpler, in this type, we would move the entire camera in and out of the scene. So, to keyframe it, hit I to add a position key in the first frame, then, jump to the last one and move the camera along the scene toward the object, and hit I again to add the second position key. For me, I would prefer using the dolly type over zooming with the focal length in interior scenes, but in the other hand, Keyframing the focal length and adding some depth of field can give you spectacular shots. So have fun with it. In the pan type, we can do it like the last one. By hitting the key I and inserting a rotation keyframe, you can use this type to give some sense to the place you showing, or even to follow a moving object. In the tilt type, the movement is vertically, and the process is the same, you rotate the camera along its axes, and insert two key frame at the start and end of your animation, this type helps you fit the scene into the frame while creating some effective shots. Now in those two types, the pan and the tilt, I recommend using the shift value in the camera settings over the rotation keys, it might look the same in this scene, but with bigger projects, the vertical lines will distort by the rotation, and key framing the second method is like how we did with the focal length, just put the mouse over the shift value and hit I to add a key, then again, go to the last frame and add another key there. With those two types, the entire camera is moving same as the dolly shot, but instead of going in and out, we will move right to left or up to down. With the truck type, just select the camera and move it along the scene to a starting position, hit I to add a position keyframe, then, jump to the last keyframe and insert another position key, 
This type can be used to follow an object, or to make some close-up shots in any area. In the pedestal type, the moving is along the z-axis, so you might start from a lower level, and from that moving the camera up to show up per objects like the ceiling details or transferring the view to the second floor. In the orbit type, we rotate the camera around an object, adding some interest to it and its surrounding elements. To do the 360 camera rotation, what we need to do is add an empty in the same position as the object we need to rotate around. After that, you select the camera then the empty and hit Ctrl P to parent them as shown. Now, if you rotate the empty, the camera should rotate with it, so, with simple rotation keys, we can add one at the zero degree and another one at 360. To make it loop here, just hit the right mouse button over the keyframes area, and make the interpolation mode on linear. If you want to open different cameras in two work windows like the ones you saw in the video earlier, you just need to open the end panel in the right, and under the view, there's an option called local camera, enable it to lock the camera you need in any viewport.